Hi friends, Krista here. Thanks for stopping by Books and Jams. I am here today with my November book haul. I have just 12 books to show you, which feels like a relatively small haul for me. <laughs> but I got some from Book of the Month, some from Little Free Libraries. One was sent to me, two were sent to me, and one is from a thrift store, a thrift store outing. So let's start with the Book of the Month picks. I am so excited about these books. I just love Book of the Month. I think they're doing a great job of having diverse picks every month and then I realized I didn't pick any of the diverse ones from this month, but that's okay. The first one that I chose from their November options was uh, This Time Next Year by Sophie Cousins. How many chances to meet your perfect match? So this one just sounds so fun. These two people, Quinn and Minnie, were born on the same day, on New Year's Eve, like just as the new year was coming to pass like just at midnight on New Year's Eve and Quinn was born in London I believe and he won this cash prize for being the first child born in the year and just seems to have all the luck <laughs> in his life or so it seems to Minnie. I think Minnie was supposed to be named Quinn as well but because this other kid was named Quinn her mom named her Minnie instead um, and then they they meet on their 30th birthday or on the eve of their 30th birthday and Minnie is about to lose her pie business that she has and just is has all of this pent up frustration because she's a little bit down on her luck and it seems like Quinn just has everything handed to him on a silver platter. It just feels like it's going to be a really cute rom-com and I'm really excited for this one. I also chose another kind of romance focused one. This is the Star-Crossed Sisters of Tuscany by Lori Nelson Spielman. But in this one, a curse is placed on this family. I don't know who placed the curse, but where the second born is never going to find love. So this happens in many different generations of the family where the second born just doesn't have love. There's question whether this is a real curse or if it's just kind of like in your head kind of a thing. Yeah, I, I feel like you can't really go wrong with like Italy and sister dynamics and this whole romance element of being kind of fated to not find love. I feel like that sounds really fun and I'm excited to read this one. And then I did pick up the sequel to Bringing Down the Duke, which I didn't actually choose for my book of the month. I read it from the library, but I really want to read the sequel because I loved Bringing Down the Duke. I thought it was a lot of fun and I liked the historical element mixed in with the romance. So this one is A Rogue of One's Own by Evie Dunmore and I don't really know what this one is about. A lady must have money and an army of her own if she is to win a revolution, but first she must pit her wits against the wiles of an irresistible rogue bent on wrecking her plans and her heart. <laughs> I feel like Evie Dunmore did a great job with bringing down the Duke and it had like witty banter and also this romance element, but also the historical. And I've, I'm hoping that this kind of follows in those same footsteps. So I grabbed that. So I took three this month, but it's thanks to you guys. I always have a code for book of the month down below. And if you sign up for the first time, I think you get a discount on your first month, which I believe is $9.99 for your first month. Normally it's $14.99 a month, which is awesome for a hardcover book, which are normally like what, 25 something dollars. So you're getting a good quality hardcover book for $14.99 every month and you get to pick what it is. So you're not stuck with something you don't like. And if you don't like any of their five choices, you can skip that month, which is also a fantastic a perk that I have used many times. So I always have the code for book of the month down, down below. I almost said downstairs. So if you're interested in checking them out and you haven't signed up before, you get your first month for a little bit of a discount and I get a credit. Uh, so that helps me to be able to add extra books into my box every month. So thank you for those of you who have done that already. Let me share with you the Little Free Library books I grabbed this month. Um, they're, one of them is normal for me and two of them are not, but let me talk about them. So I grabbed Left Neglected by Lisa Genova. She wrote Still Alice, which I loved, and Every Note Played, which I love, which both deal with um, some kind of mental malfunction, like Still Alice deals with Alzheimer's and Every Note Played deals with Lou Gehrig's disease um, or ALS. So I, and Lisa Genova herself, the author, was a neurosurgeon and she studied the brain for years, like for her degree for years. That's what she did. So she writes so well about what life is like for people who struggle with these different mental um, illnesses. In this one, our main character is gonna have some kind of a brain injury that leaves her unable to use anything on the left side of her body and how that impacts her life and makes her reevaluate re what's important 
and how is she going to carry on with life after after suffering from this illness and all of the doctor visits and all of this stuff. So Lisa Genova handles these situations with care and with heart. I cry buckets in her books and I'm really excited that I found another one that I had never heard of before. I never heard of this one. I also picked up um, two Christmas books to add to my December pile. I don't have a lot of Christmas themed books. Um, so I wanted some for this year. So I grabbed two mass market paperback holiday romances. <laughs> What? Um, so the first one I grabbed is uh, the Ho the Lodge on Holly Road by Sheila Roberts. I literally know nothing about it, but I know it's Christmassy and it's a romance, and that's kind of like I said, I'm in the mood for that kind of read right now. And the other one is Christmas in Silver Springs by Brenda Brenda Novak. I have heard of this author. I have not heard of Sheila Roberts, but I have heard of Brenda Novak from some of my romance reading friends, and so I'm really excited about this holiday romance both of them I'm excited for both of them I feel like these are going to be quicker like pretty quick reads that will just be fun and lighthearted, like reading a Hallmark movie in book version that's what I'm hoping for I'm down for that <laughs> um I stopped at a thrift store earlier this month and I love this thrift store I feel like I always find such good books there like in Farley Field by Reese Bowen I found for $1.98 is the final price. It was $2.98 and then they marked it down to two bucks in Farley Field for a hardcover that's in perfect condition. I think I have this on my Kindle. I have not read anything by Reese Bowen, but I think I have two of their, of her books on my Kindle. This is a, uh, this is a World War II book. So this one takes place in England in this um, Farley place in this like this big ancestral home this man and his five daughters live there and one day um, a, a, a soldier whose parachute kind of malfunctions lands in their field and of course this is incredibly suspicious and they're they're wondering if this is a German spy like how did he land there and I'm sure there's gonna be some kind of connection with one or more of the five sisters um, so yeah, that sounds really good to me and I can't believe I found it for so cheap. Another one that I found at this thrift store for super cheap that I just can't even believe it. I took off the sticker already, but I found this copy of Bridge of Clay by Marcus Susak. It's in gorgeous condition and again, it was probably $2.98 or $1.98. What? This, um, look at that hard cut, like the naked, like the hardcover is gorgeous. Um, I've had my eye on this, number one, because I loved Book Thief by Marcus Susak. I've read The Messenger by Marcus Uzak and it was okay. I enjoyed it, but I particularly have my eye on this one because um, Brie from Call Me After Coffee loves this book. This is her all-time favorite book. She's read it multiple times. She's reading it again, I believe, in December. So ever since I've heard her talk about it, it's been higher up on my radar of a book that I would really love to read. So I couldn't believe when I found it for so cheap. I don't even know anything. <laughs> I don't even know what's about. I feel like it's gonna be a little bit quieter. There's brothers. Here's a story told inside out and back to front. What? Maybe a different kind of structure to it? I don't know. The five Dunbar brothers are living with their menagerie of pets in the perfect chaos of a house made by their own rules. Today, the father who walked out on them a long time ago walks back in. And so the life of Clay, the quiet one with a harrowing secret, is about to change forever. He is the one who will build a bridge for his family, for his past, for greatness, for his sins. A miracle and nothing less. Okay, I'm not going to read anymore. That sounds really good. And just knowing that Brie loves it so much, I've got to read it. And I've got to read it soon. So yay for finding that gem for super cheap. Gotta love a thrift store. <laughs> Okay, two others that I found. Well, one other. I think actually that one's not from a thrift store. I actually only have one more from a thrift store, and that's the only woman in the the only woman in the room by Marie Benedict. I have both. I think I have both of her other ones, Carnegie's Maid and the other Einstein. I feel like I have both of them, or maybe just one others of hers. But this this made its rounds on Instagram earlier this year. This one is about this woman who's really beautiful, and she lives in Germany, and she is able to she gets married to an Austrian, um, like an arms dealer in Austria. But she also kind of turns into a little bit of a spy too. She's super smart, but she is able to escape to Hollywood and becomes a film star in Hollywood. But the secret she hasn't been telling anybody is that she's also a scientist and she has inside secrets about the Nazi party. 
what? This sounds like a mishmash of so many different things that if done well, could be super cool, right? So we already have like this hidden agenda and then we have the 1940s like films, like Hollywood scene, but also the female scientist who has Nazi secrets. <laughs> like this just sounds so good, so good. I'm really excited that I found this one for super cheap as well. I am a part of that uh, No Shelf Control book group in, on Facebook and at the beginning of every month we do a book swap and this month my person sent me Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik, which I'm really excited about. I really enjoyed Uprooted. I read it so long ago. I know it has had mixed, uh, mixed reviews from people, but I really liked it. And this is kind of like a play on Rumpelstiltskin. So I'm excited for this one and so thankful that I got it in that swap group. So fun, fun. I was sent two like special treats this month. So Jennifer Adam is an author who has watched my channel. Hi Jen. Um, and she wrote this middle grade called The Last Wind Witch, which is stunning. This is an arc. This comes out in April. So this one will come out in April. So I have a little bit of time to read it. Maybe I'll save it for middle grade March. Um, but this just first of all this cover is gorgeous i love this font so um on the back it says this is good for fans of seraphina and the black Co cloak which i did read and enjoyed and the book of boy which was our book pick for middle grade march last year which wasn't a huge hit for everyone but it definitely had elements that i really did enjoy um we follow brita brita who's a, an aspiring witch a hedge witch of some sort which i'm not sure what that is yet but she is on a journey through this really deep dark terrifying forest she'll end up at this castle where there's a lot of dark magic and she's going to encounter the queen um a wicked queen and a destiny that she could have never imagined so this is definitely very fantasy filled but there's that element of a journey or an adventure along the way I just think this is stunning and I'm really excited to read this book. Thank you so much, Jennifer, for sending to me and for your sweet note. Very, very kind. I'm excited. I'm really excited for that, but it does come out in April. So there's time. There's time for that one. And finally, um, another dear subscriber, Rhonda, um, also sent me a little treat this month. She makes, she's um, started a little business of making these book sleeves. I think she calls them book pals, book mates. I got it wrong. Um, she's making these bookmates and I will link her Facebook down below if you're interested in these book sleeves. These are um, not super um, cushy like some of them are, but it does feel like sturdy and it will protect your book when you put it in your bag. Um, it has like a heft to it. Um, and I love this wintry with this wintry design. I told her to surprise me with the design. So very kind of her to send that. And she also put a book in there. She threw in the Librarian of Auschwitz by Antonio Turbe, which is so fun. I love World War II historical fiction. So, and a lovely little note as well, Rhonda, that is just so sweet. And I will, I will put her information um, about the bookmates in the description box below if you're ever interested these I mean if Christmas is coming or just like treat yourself <laughs> um, It's great. This is a you can see this is the paperback and there's quite a bit of room and then if even like one of my bigger Like this bridge of clay is like a bigger hardcover and it definitely fits really cozily in there And it will just protect the corners and stuff in a bag. So I love book sleeves any kind of a book sleeve I'm a big fan of so thank you so much Rhonda for sending that to me again check out all of her information So that's it just 12 books today not a super huge um, Not a super huge book haul but I'm thrilled about these books. I'm really excited to read the Christmas ones and like the lighter romance ones, but also the middle grade. I, I just, I love it. All the World War II historical fiction too. There's quite a few. One, two, three. Three of them are World War II. Yeah, a good mix of books as per usual. Oh, stink. <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs> Holy moly. Mass market paperbacks, who am I? <laughs> So here are the books that I'm hauling this November. I would love to chat with you about any of these books or about anything else. You guys know I love talking to you down in the comments below. Please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. That always helps my channel so much. We're getting so close to 5,000. I'm so pumped. And I will definitely be talking to you in another video very soon. Bye.